Hello and welcome to my eighth round of ITSL 2023-24. My opponent is Matt Davies. Uh, he's the lowest rated on my entire path in the group stage. Uh, at least uh, accordingly to play that rating among the players I still have to play with, which doesn't mean I can ignore it. Now, I got three scorings in my initial hand. This is not really convenient, but apart from that, this is a quite nice hand. It's 15 points, which means five points on average per card and yes i can't really make use of it but i may dump middle east scoring hopefully for four vps then score asia maybe for minus one and maybe i'm able to fight for europe with a little help of fact that i have the goal so if i play it i may contest france the drawback and problem is that I may mm -hmm. lack time to do it. But now I think my opening is quite straightforward. If I'm perched, I have to preserve NATO to be able to discard it to West Germany. And probably I'll have to just dump scorings as they are so asia whenever whenever possible really uh, i mean if he had made headlines vietnam revolts and then spreads to asia i think i can do nothing better there <clears throat> Let's hope his hand is slightly inconvenient as well. Um, the main issue here is that he may gain a giant initiative. So I hope he just has cards like, I don't know, captured Nazi scientists and um, some Fidel or so. I mean, events which will probably uh, um, give him some benefits later, but not really mess up with the current board. Of course, I always may count on him being a low-rated player. Uh, but fun fact, uh, it's round 8, I didn't play round 1 because my opponent had forfeited and I still don't have any games scheduled uh, instead of this one. I have 5 victories, 1 defeat, and this defeat is against the lowest rated player of those 6 uh, I met already, or maybe second lowest, I don't remember this exactly. So what it is? Sewer's Crisis. I'm not very happy about it because this means I'm probably completely unable to dominate Europe unless he gives me Marshall Plan. And I'm cut off Middle East of its uh, western part. But I get my four VPs for Middle East right now. It may be important because it makes it less likely that he steamrolls me. And then in the mid war, the tables may easily turn. He consumed quite a lot of time so far. Uh, 
I think what I'm seeing now is not what is happening now. He's now thinking about his air one because Siwa's crisis now gives him no choice and my middle east scoring also gives nobody any choice so it, it just occurs so he's probably seeing Siwa's crisis and middle east scoring already resolved and he's thinking about his air one play mm -hmm. And he's going to run. Oh! And it was not a successful coup. I should probably make immediate use of this. By which I mean that for Muslim resolution. goes here and there of course there's always downside risk with such moves for example duck and cover coup in malaysia and it may turn out that hs scored much worse than i hoped it to on the other hand i now may be able to yep yeah, Mm hmm so he's the first beach Thailand. I'm not happy about it, but I am in Afghanistan, so even if he kills me from Iran, I have a way back. Now Asia is urgent. And actually now it's tempting for me to start fighting for European domination. Because Suez is gone, I may play the goal and then take France, or I may just hold the goal. And if it hits me later, okay, it hits me later, but now I'm gonna score five points in Europe. I think I'm losing two points due to military operations because. Well, if he coups now Iran, I have no coup targets. And cooing Iran is, by the way, quite an obvious play from him. I mean, he could take Thailand, but this is going anywhere. Of course, if he has CIA, it's a very good moment for him to play it. Mm hmm. He has CIA into Thailand, Marshall, Truman, US, Japan, and NORAD. Hmm. Not a very easy hand to play for him. And it means I am tempted to play the goal. I have my military operations, but now I'm tempted to play the goal actually. I'm winning the Ops War against France, unless he gives me the China card. I'm saying I'm winning it because uh, Marshall and Truman are unplayable by him. 
if he wants to contest France. So he only gets Norad and US Japan. So I'm quite glad he drew quite a blue hand against my triple scoring hand. Mm -hmm. And this makes it even easier for me to dominate Europe. He did uh, apparently what he should have done with Marshall. But this doesn't seem enough. Plus, I have an entry point in Turkey into Middle East. So let's make it this way. Because I, I have no time to just get involved into Ops War. Norad Truman and US Japan, it could be tempting to play five year plan for an event. But if I'm able to score European domination, I also should probably uh, exit Iran by the end of the turn. So if he breaks my European domination right now, with the use of Nara, this is somewhat trouble, troubling, because uh, I mean he takes Yugoslavia and something, I then may retake Turkey. I may over control France and West Germany double, but he still can break my non battleground with a single play. <coughs> and I will have to score Europe. Massive over controls are quite good, of course, because um, it makes it harder for him to break two battlegrounds at once and dominate Europe uh, by himself. By the way, Europe is the only non scored region, and he doesn't know I have it, but he should know that it is so. So I think Marshall Plan was a mistake. Uh, I mean, uh, US-Japan mutual pact should have been played first, or even NORAD. Uh, because if I had um, shored up Canada before he did stuff with... Hmm. Now that's funny. Because if I had a uh, short up Canada after NORAD, then Marshall would be much less painful than it was. Uh, taking Turkey was a giant waste. Yugoslavia was much better. I mean, I know Tito is waiting. Uh, but Romanian abdication is also waiting, and Tito can only grab one country. Mm. Now he gave three points, he invested three points into a non-battleground. Uh, he's going to be left with two blue cards. Uh, uh, 
And if it's not Truman, if he plays Truman now, which I doubt sincerely, uh, but both NORAD and US Japan are valuable uh, as a hit for five year plan. Of course, the China card is a card. And if you need, you should play it by all means. But yeah, so he did here. So no giant victory in Europe. Now, this is a much worse hand than the previous one. This is a hand with no good headlines, and this is the hand which could be crippling if perched. But socialist governments can be you and intervened, in which case I have to play the China card actually, because then I don't have not anything to blockade. Warsaw Pact, Pact formed, okay. Decal from his side could be painful. Uh, I don't think I have better headlines than Olympic Games, and Olympic Games shouldn't have any drawbacks. I could try five-year plan, but well, I expect airspeed. Oh, Truman. Okay. Okay, this is very weird that he had headlined Truman. So. Maybe he doesn't have defectors, and then he had both D cards and RSP and didn't want to lose any of them. Hmm, I don't know. Now I could play the entire hand with UN intervention and blockade so that I don't trigger socialist governments, I don't trigger Fidel. I should probably expect that his last play is going to be containment. So my last play should not be the China card. NATO is on the discard pile, so waiting for special relationship to be activated is moot. <coughs> he may have in the Pakistani war, but nonetheless, I think I should spread in the region of Pakistan, India, and Burma. I mean, if he kills Iran, Ah, uh, I think playing into Afghanistan, Pakistan, and India could be worthwhile. And it was a massive coup, but I have no rat. Where should I use this no rod? It's a good question. Now well, let's go for Pakistan. And let's try spreading. I know Pakistan is now a bit of a downside risk, but it's one third. Okay, I can live with this. It's one third and it's retakeable with the China card. If I play the China card, I may make it one sixth. And if he's gonna roll six upon wish against Pakistan, I am meant to suffer in this game anyway. Mm -hmm. He gave it to me. Okay then.
Meh, maybe I should have played five year plan first. Because now he's gonna have um, distal source of ops. Austria was quite a weird choice. I think a wasteful one. So, Indonesia, Burma, just threaten Laos, Cambodia a little, and Angola. At first I thought about Algeria, but I realized I only have three ops and Burma and Indonesia are just important access gainers. Later on I may take Algeria, but I want to make it in a single move because it looks like he forgot about Algeria or so. So you and intervened Fidel might do the job. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, Tunisia. Huh. Weird, but unpleasant quite a little. Okay, so. <clears throat> He gets access to Libya, but with Suez played so early and Nasser still something somewhere around, he would anyway. I hope to keep even in Asia, which depends solely on the result and distribution of Indo-Pakistani war. I don't think Nigeria was a right decision because, uh, sorry, Nigeria was a right decision, but uh, I don't think uh, Laos, Cambodia and Burma was the right decision. Burma was wasteful and Tunisia was wasteful. Zaire was certainly a better choice mm -hmm. because I have access from Angola to Zaire. Uh, Algeria is accessible as it is. Indonesia would be a better choice probably than Burma because it's stronger contested. But primarily, he should have played it before US Japan Pact. That's how I feel, at least. Hmm. He isn't trying it, and I think it's the right decision. Let's first go here. I want some access. Maybe Jordan was better than Syria because it gets an automatic control of Jordan after Camp David. What? Oh, he's playing it now. Uh, AR5 and AR6. If I play UN Intervention now, I have two plus one. If I play Blockade now, I have one plus two. And it may be two plus two or one plus three if he plays Containment. I will start from Blockade, start with Blockade. And grab Lebanon. Uh, Non-battleground, battleground, one of the most important countries in the Middle East in the early war. Because it's quite hard to get me rid of them. And it secures presence in a region which shares the most valuable presence 
and at the same time the less valuable difference between domination and presence. Hmm. Okay, Southeast Asia is quite mm -hmm. boosted. I didn't get containment. I am able actually to gain military operations in Tunisia, but this may cost me Angola and Zaire. Hmm, should have spotted it earlier. Okay, let's attempt this coup. Hmm, quite a nice. I got defectors, he knows about my defectors. He knows about Nasser, Romanians and containment. Other cards he doesn't know about. Olympic Games has a downside risk. Okay, so I think I will not be claiming victory on time for the first five or ten minutes. Mm. Defectors or containment? I think containment is the better choice. He might have everything, really. But with containment, I can do all sorts of things with my hand. For example, I can space Nasser. Okay, Asia scores plus one for me, I bet. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't defect it. Vietnam revolts is completely pointless now. I think I should be spreading over. Europe, over South America and maybe Africa if he allows me, because my problem is he got distal. And by all means I should be aggressive once I drew containment. He is going to cut my axis from either Angola Zaire or Panama. Angola offers better odds, but on the other hand, I can walk through South Africa, and I intend to. I, I mean, I don't want him to feel that he can easily breath and have time for distal. He's going where? Panama? No. Angola and it was a massive coup. Okay, so let's grab at least temporarily a European domination. And let's start spreading. <coughs> One time or another, I might use nuclear test ban. Korean War for a coup in Colombia. Oh, this is the moment. Oh, 
and this was a very bad luck. Huh. Six, six, one. Mm -mm. I need it anyway. Mm hmm Brazil, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's grab Nigeria. I certainly don't like what happened in Colombia. Yet another deco. Come on. It smells to me that it's going to be yet another game with massive number of Cameroon coups. <laughs> And now I'm either awaiting Tito or I'm not playing Romania Namika. Why this isn't start? Oh, it is start, but apparently there's not enough space to put a star in a thumbnail. I might just ignore it, uh, I mean ignore Egypt for a while and go to South Africa. Yeah, he has overcooked a lot of stuff. Okay, Turkey was a weird choice, let us say. Hmm. Let's threaten something here. It doesn't change a lot in the Middle East. South America is my main point of concern now. As for Red Scar, double Gico and Distal, he doesn't have very much cheats to the point. Hmm. I will start with the Voice of America because I really want to cut his axis of south southern region of South America. Oh, ouch! It wasn't very convincing as in how high he scored. 
but annoyingly good anyway. Okay, now if he coups Columbia, I get a battleground coup. Otherwise, I get a one point loss in South America and I can't really complain about this. Korean War is discarded, discarded I believe, so but Asia scoring is also discarded, so <laughs> not a big deal about it. Mm, Panama, no, Algeria. <laughs> and he started rolling once for coups. So <clears throat> Africa scores a one for him. The bad news is it can quite easily get much stronger. I could play away S in Brazil and attempt to realign Venezuela, but I have quite a poor hand. I'll probably space OPEC, Camp David and Sadat are just events. Our man is an event now. Romanian abdication is a hold card, probably. <laughs> and something should be invested in South America. Of course, after Sadat and Camp David, I could invest into breaking Libya, but then OPEC is just a one point card, one point left, and costs me two victory points. I don't think it's worth. And I probably should coup somewhere. So I guess Willy Brandt takes a chance on Cameroon. <laughs> which means OAS is eventually going to be played for an event. But it wouldn't help much in South America anyway. I would need a follow-up. And it was less than obvious what exactly should it be. He looks like he has Africa scoring. I should bear it in mind, although I don't feel I can do much about this knowledge. Uh -huh. If he's spreading in South America, I can't do really much about it now, but I can afford not care about it now too much. At the very last, I'll stop him by playing OAS into Argentina, but let him invest into Uruguay first. Hmm. Spacing time. Failed. I don't need to rush. So, is it a space time for me? Not yet. Yeah, let's play our man in Tehran. I don't want Middle East to be scored. South African unrest. Let's get out. As of Alliance for Progress. Let's just. Let it just return later. Kitchen debates. Eh. Let them be, let them be here. UN intervention. Let it be here because CIA is gone. Long gunman is not. Okay.
And by the way, uh, what you could automatically do and instinctively would be to keep Alliance for Progress because it uh, seems like a strong card and an own card. Yet it's not. It's a 3 op card if I get it. And if my opponent got it, it would be a free 3 op card and the ability to remove the event without any effect. Later on, as the game continues, it can only get better. It can score less than zero, which it would right now. So let it come back when it scores like three or four, something like this. Suddenly this game doesn't look easy. It, it didn't look easy at first place, but after turn one, it was like, hey, why don't we pretend it is going to work? Hmm. Okay, now I'm confused a little. Pakistan certainly matters for Asia domination, but Asia was caught. Of course, it's very, very tempting to react immediately. It seems to me that he wants to take Pakistan without using the China card. My options here are first, ignore it, second, boost it with some one of card, but none of these looks convenient. I don't want to play Romanian application and I want to event all the remaining cards. Third option is boost it with Willy Brandt and double it, but then I don't have the source of military operations for this turn. And the fourth option is boosted with OPEC only once, breaking Libya, paying two VPs. And potentially regaining them if he plays the China card to take Pakistan, because he just played in the Pakistani war, didn't he? Yeah. So that's not of a concern right now. I think I will go with OPEC for two victory points. Pakistan is too important to just give it away like this, even temporarily. But if he is ready to pay me with the China card, I take it. If he has Nixon, he's just giving me this two VPs back. He is ready to do it. Okay. He's dominating Asia right now, but it doesn't matter right now. If this is his way to... Hmm, okay, so... Let's make a little mess here. If this is his way uh, to just make cultural revolution more efficient, okay. Could it be prevented anyway? He gave me NATO, uh, which was played very inefficiently as a card. And special relationship is nowhere here. Maybe just in case he gets it, I should put one more in UK, but okay. Pakistan is the great target for NORAD right now. So, okay, he has his benefits, which look nice, 
but they are targeting the region which is not the most urgent right now and more to the point uh, uh, they were heavily overinvested by him I'm not very sure about Sadat right now mm. because it's similar to what I just said about Pakistan on the reverse. I don't need Egypt right now. Middle East scoring is buried. Muslim revolution is buried. Nasser is gone and yeah, like as expected. OPEC is gone. Uh, are there any better uses for Sadat? For example, Philippines. It equalizes Asia and it uh, gives one point more for Southeast Asia or Panama because it's a battleground in a region yet to be scored. Okay. Where I wasn't present, by the way. Hmm. Now that's a very good hand. And I think purging it is a great choice. Okay, so much about my Nord. <laughs> but I have purged his hand. Hmm. I don't have two good cards to discard. I hope I get off on my first attempt with Liberation Theology. Because I, don't cert I certainly don't want to discard any other cards. Apart from Romania Abdication, which I couldn't anyway. And more importantly, I don't want to show him that my hand is such. But I didn't get on my first attempt, and this starts looking bad, regardless of his use of Junta. Brazil was a very bad choice. Mexico was begging. Because uh, then he coos Argentina or, or whatever as he did, and then he takes Brazil because he knew I won't be able to play constructively on my first action round. Uh, so I got out. Uh, of course, he could also go to Argentina. I guess he should have, because he really couldn't have expected such a good role. Now, I'd like to play puppets very soon, but Che can make mess up with this. Uh, his intentions are quite clear. So are mine. I have to play the scoring, of course. But I have the initiative. It's very hard for me to fight for European domination by this time, so I can 
as well play Romanian application. And let's make Africa as tough for him as possible. So at least Asia is a little hurtful. Europe, Southeast Asia, Africa, Central America, the scorings left. I must remember the overall number of scorings left for the purpose of potential ooh, realignments. But that was certainly an exaggeration. And certainly he shouldn't have risked to such an extent. <laughs> okay, now it's tempting for me to coup Zimbabwe. And if he was realigning, I'm most certainly positive that uh, South Africa should have been his target. <laughs> now I'm able to trigger Southeast Asia scoring. He didn't equalize Africa at all. And yes, it gives him three points. But on my IR7, I can play salt negotiations, grabbing Red Scar, and purge him for the second time. Great and grabbing two extra VPs. And this is a great hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Europe is going to be hard to contest but not impossible because brush war can attack Spain Portugal and chances are quite big now that defcon is high i'll probably contest thailand with the china card because the scorings are going to come back. I'll try to do my best to hold Kennedy and East European unrest. Uh, he may play grind sales to Soviets with no downside risk of losing by DEFCON when DEFCON is at 5, because he doesn't have how I learned to stop worrying. This is not a card you'd like to play on, on yourself anyway, but well. Okay, now check and affect South America and Africa, both of which were scored. Uh -huh. Of course I'll have to take care of South America because it starts looks looking very non-convincing. Uh, arms race, this is a moot card right now. Uh, nothing more to be gained, I guess, unless I could Thailand. Uh, with no direct response of him. Mm, I guess I will not. Hmm. 
Well, this was nicely done and nicely thought. Okay. I'd rather get the China for Nixon than two VPs for Nixon right now. And I'd rather contest Argentina. Okay. I know it's, it was scored, but Central America is not going to provide so many VPs. Quite urgently, should I equalize Asia? Because now it starts being a little hurtful that he actually grabbed this Pakistan. He would have, anyway. Hmm. Slowly but surely retaking. It's quite unclear for me what the purpose of Panama Canal return should be. I think I should play puppets quite soon. before they get completely useless. Most of the obvious targets are gone, taken. Hmm, kitchen debates with no effect, huh? That's not pleasant. Just in case, I wanted to try this one. <laughs> so now, Brush War Spain, Portugal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And failed. I guess in such case I can't do much about Europe scoring. However, I might try. Because it's turn 6 rather than turn 7, so East European unrest is going to come back. I mean, I thought about playing Kennedy next turn and hold East European unrest, or hold both if I get the China card with Usuri. But now, after John Paul, it suddenly creates an immediate crisis in Europe. And it may be not so easy to address when you're under purge. Europe and Central America are the regions not scored yet. And I have to push them to maximize them, their effects because all of the other regions look are either bad as like South America or look ostensibly even but are volatile in his favor. He can very easily gain domination in Middle East. I can't. 
the same can be said about Africa. He's one coup away from it. And the same can be said about Asia. Mm -hmm. I gained the China card back. Should it be used to contest Europe? No. Let's score Europe as it is. And just keep stuff safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I'll take a chance on this one. Ah, really needed a better roll. Okay. And this is an ideal hand to enlist the services of Mr. Kennedy, especially after reshuffle. Oh, really? Come on. Okay. Goodbye. 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 Uh, I am going to save Brezhnev, actually. At least this. didn't hit as strong. But I must say this is a very inconvenient hand. And I'm really not happy about the fact that I'm about to lose four PPs yet. <laughs> now the great question arises to what extent should Middle East be contested by me? And I guess the answer is to a huge one. One small step is now completely useless as an event. Missile Envy may be a useful headline or may not be. And suddenly, shuttle diplomacy may provide an extra victory point. Uh, three victory points, I mean.
I'm holding two cards. This doesn't look good in the final scoring, unless I contest Europe quite heavily or have a game changer around where I am. Oh, the card actually is put in front of me. I believe it didn't work that way previously. But it's according to what stays in this card. And by the way, this is important uh, that it's put in front of me rather than, as usual, be put on either pile uh, and just keep it if effect open because this is a lasting effect of a card uh, which is recurring and which effect makes no sense when doubled. So it's important that it doesn't go to the reshuffle until its effect isn't gone at first place. Mm -hmm. And of course with Brezhnev I should probably coup. And Colombia looks a good target. But now Bertrap's gone. Grain sale's gone. I don't really feel too safe about this game unless I get the opportunity to war game him somehow. It may turn out that my problem in this ITSL edition is scrubbing points against lower rated opponents. Mm -hmm. Oh. Now this is a tough one. I have war games. But am I able to grab this 2B piece I need? Hmm. This is quite doubtful. And I don't feel that the board is safe, so I I think I risk and bluff with Olympic Games. Especially as I was purged. Hmm. Good news for me, he cannot safely coup right now. Bad news for me, it's gonna be a terribly tough. Turn. Very good news for me, he fell into it. So, thank you for watching, see you next time. And I must say, he played very decently, although he made some moves I considered dub dubious. And uh, my last play was a trap which wasn't of high quality. It was just like, okay, he may be weak enough to get into it, but the board looks strong enough for him for me to worry about the final outcome. So thank you for watching and see you next time.